Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and today we're going to look at the 40th anniversary edition Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett Nerf Rival Gun. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, so what do you think? Do I, uh, do I look like Boba Fett? How's my authentic bucket? Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here and as you know, this channel is where I show my appreciation for Star Wars. That's right, it's all things Star Wars. And yes, I do a lot of vintage reviews, toy reviews, but that also includes pretty much anything that has Star Wars on it. And I was fortunate enough this Christmas to have a loving family that purchased me uh, this Apollo Boba Fett repaint. Now, uh, funny story, I actually tried to get this for my son. Uh, GameStop had a deal on these, I think they were 40 bucks. I quickly jumped on it because normal retail price on Amazon, $76, $76. So bought one from GameStop. It was supposed to come out December 1st. By December 15th, GameStop wrote me a letter and said they weren't gonna fulfill my order and they had refunded my money. Surprise, surprise, uh, my wife and kids had already purchased one for me. So uh, this is my first Nerf gun ever in my entire life because I'm 52 so I kind of like passed that whole Nerf gun era uh, growing up. This is an Apollo rival though. Uh, they didn't make a brand new gun for Boba Fett. They just took a existing gun that already was being made by Nerf and they kind of repainted it. And in actuality, this whole set came out for Battlefront 2, I think. You can get the same exact setup for Battlefront 2. The only difference is the graphics on the box. I mean, even the box layout is exactly the same, but the graphics on the box for this are for the recent uh, Empire Strikes Back 40th anniversary. As you wish. All right, so just to go over some of the things that you're gonna get inside your box, uh, you're gonna get the instructions. There's a nice little instruction sheet. There is a magazine round. It's a transparent magazine round. I believe it holds seven. Uh, Nerf rival balls and they are normal Nerf rival balls. However, they're repainted half green half burgundy uh, You can also buy a replacement or if you have already a 12 holder uh, The 12 holder will fit as well and you get a really cool mythosaur Embroidered patch of course you get the protective mask that you saw me wearing earlier and the Nerf rival gun. Let's go over some of the finer details of the gun, shall we? He's no good to me dead. First off, you have a tactical rail on the top, and this is where you can add uh, an extra nerf feature, an attachment. Uh, you have a safety right here, obviously pushing it in, safety on, pushing it out, safety off, right? Uh, down here at the bottom, this little black button is a quick release for the magazine, and this right here is an indicator to tell you if the gun is locked and loaded. Once the magazine and ammunition is inside, you're gonna pull this back like this and push it forward and that primes the gun, that loads the ball. And as Nerf guns do, sometimes they jam up. There's a button right here that is a jam release. It's a little jam fixer, but I've never needed to push this button. So, so far the action on it has been pretty sweet. My kids have the Nerf rival guns and they also have the regular Nerf guns that shoot the longer missile looking bullets. And I would say between the two, uh, the Nerf bullets don't shoot as far. I think the shape of them doesn't enable them to fly as well. The rival bullets, I think fly further and straighter and they hurt a little bit more. He's worth a lot to me. Looking at the cover of the box, it's gonna show you everything that comes inside. And of course you have that cool 40th Empire Strikes Back uh, logo in the lower left with an awesome picture of Boba Fett. The inside of the box is made to look more like a blueprint. It says 40th uh, Empire Strikes Back in the upper left. Star Wars in gold, you have that beautiful graphic of Boba Fett again, uh, right below his journeyman emblem. And then you've got two images of his helmet, his bucket right there with some inside technology showing. Everything on the inside of the box is all beautifully displayed and it has a lower and upper transparent plastic protective shell. All the rest of the sides just say Star Wars and Nerf Rival and have uh, a lot of the same pictures of Boba Fett. The underside of the box uh, just shows the inside of the box 
and it tells you exactly what you get inside and that it comes to you from the fine people down at Disney and Hasbro. Now I'm sure a Nerf rival gun isn't on every collector's uh, list, but as I've mentioned before, I pretty much collect everything that says Boba Fett on it. I am a Boba Fett guy, like he is my person. So uh, if there's anything Boba Fett, whether it's a keychain or a Lego action figure or a, a coffee mug or a t-shirt, right? Um, you can pretty much guarantee that I'm gonna get it. This gun really wasn't on my radar because I didn't know how I would display it and didn't know if I would actually play Nerf guns with my kids, but now I can and I can look like my favorite bounty hunter while I do it. All right, that's everything I can say about the Nerf Rival Apollo Star Wars Mandalorian Edition 40th Anniversary Empire Strikes Back. Like I said, you can pick this up at Amazon right now. It's 76 bucks. But uh, hey, if you like Boba Fett as much as me, it's probably worth it. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. And may the force be with you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.